Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. I got a 50 best soundtrack oh, list from the past shits. 50 years, right? Mm -hmm. um, number 50 is 8 Mile. Eddie Spaghetti. I don't know why it's number 50, but it got some, because it should be higher. What up, though, Kill Dozen? Um, it has some good tracks on this soundtrack. All right, so you we going to go through the top 50 movie soundtracks. Yeah. So number 50 is 8 Mile. 8 Mile. All right, 49. 8 Mile, we know, Lose Yourself, How to Rob, all that. Um, Number 49 was High School High. High School High? High School High from back in the 90s. I remember that movie. It had a lot of Method Man in it, didn't it? Yeah. And a whole bunch of Young Nicole, Method right? Man. Young Method Man. To Cal. To Cal. They had um, John Lovitz in it. Yeah, I remember that movie. Cause I remember the, um, the part where the dude had the, um, the afro with police chase scene going in his head. It's pretty cool. 48. Mm -hmm. um, number 48 was Judgment Night. Judgment Night. Judgment Night. Emilio Estevez. Wow. Cuba Jr. Jeremy Piven. I think it was about a comet hitting Earth. Um. I think. Nah. So. It had to do something with a. a it had something to do with um. It had something to do with um. Drugs. And it had to do something. They saw with, a drug deal. I didn't seen every movie in America, man. So you it's know. called Judgment Night, bro. All right, forty-seven. Forty-seven. American Honey. American Honey. Never heard of American Honey. American Honey had um E forty on it. E forty on the soundtrack, yeah. I looked that up. American Honey, all right. Um, number forty six, the Breakfast Club. Oh, don't you forget, forget about, about me. me. Hey, that's one of my favorite movies. That's in my yeah. time. Yeah. It should be it should be higher. Yeah. I think it should be higher in this list. Um, number forty five was Grease. Grease? American you know Honey. What I, I never seen that movie. <laughs> American Honey came out in two thousand sixteen. I mean, yeah, twenty sixteen. Yeah, I ain't never seen it. Me either. But Grease, okay. Big shout out yeah, to them for Grease. doing their thing. Um Number forty four is the Muppet movie. The Muppets. The Muppets. They probably could. They the probably, 1979 Muffets movie. Did they use music or they made their own? They made nine original songs. Oh. Sure that were nine out of ten or better. Rubber ducky. <laughs> that's all I remember about his ass. I got a comedy yeah, song. It ain't easy being green. That, waka waka waka. Uh, all right. Tonight. Number 43 was Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge? They got a guy. He's he seen Grease too because Michelle Pfeiffer was fine in it. Man, Michelle was in everybody's movie back then. Oh, yeah. You was like 10 and you was in love with her. Moulin Rouge, that's what um, Lady Marmalade. Lady Marmalade. Christina Aguilera. And, um, um, yeah. What's her name? Lil' Kim. Yeah. I call her white girl music. Yeah, the Moulin Rouge. All right, next boy. Um, Boogie Nights, number forty-two. Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. Had Mark some Warburg. Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Oh, that was, was, was a seventies based movie. So okay. Yeah. They can use all Dis that. Disco dancing drugs. Yeah. So you got the Commodores, Electric Night Orchestra. Yeah, a lot of shit. That's the seventies. Yes, that's the seventies. That ain't hard um, to be on that list. That should that could have been higher. Depends on yeah, movies. it should have been higher. Well, this is this is the top fifty movie. The top fifty movie soundtracks. Right, um, let's go to the next one. Number forty one, Train Spotting. Oh, I haven't Train seen spotting. that, but I, I know what that is. I Isn't keep that... seeing it. I keep seeing it advertised, but I never watch it. That's one of them um, artsy, got Richie type films. Yeah, I never watch it, but it's number forty one. Or did I? See um, it? number forty. Um, Top Gun. Top Gun. Top Gun. Riding to the danger zone. Yeah. Climbing to yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, danger zone. I'm going to spike a damn um, a volleyball <laughs> and tap you on the ass, spring. Fuck you. Goose. No. Fuck out of here. What's the next one? <laughs> 
<laughs> Number 39 is Batman. Ooh, the original Batman? 1989 Batman. Was it Hans Zimmer? The one with Prince. Oh. Did most of the soundtrack. Ooh. Black and white. Red and green. Did the bat, the bat <laughs> dance. Yeah. Trust Party Man. The Future. Electric Chair. Vicky Waiting. Lemon Crush. Vicky Scandalous. Bell. Uh-huh. Vicky so, Bell. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. Well, look, Vicky, Batman was Vicky, off the chain, but Batman Returned? That wasn't no kid movie. Nah. When the penguin beat my Michelle man, Michelle Pfeiffer was in there. But look, Michelle Pfeiffer. Damn, boy, now you get right back on Michelle Pfeiffer. Well, she was bad in that mm-hmm. movie. She like she the baddest damn to... crap yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nigga, that nigga, Danny DeVito bit my man. <laughs> you did that shit to my eyes. To my eyes, your nose. Nothing wrong with my ah. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the next one. Oh god, number thirty eight, the Royal Tenenbaums. Um uh, I've never seen that. I've never seen um, it, I know what it is. I know I've it heard is. of it. So y'all number thirty eight. Thirty seven is the Prince of Egypt. So the, the cartoon, the Egypt. Disney cartoon. Um or the movie. It gotta be the Disney cartoon. I think that is the movie. Yeah. That's from Disney, yeah. Mm-hmm. Never seen it. And before. it has you know, them Disney soundtracks. Um, mm-hmm. Trouble Man, number 36, Trouble Man, Marvin Gaye's performance. That's what T.I. got his name, that name of his album from. You know, that's Marvin Gaye. Mm-hmm. All right. So, he did what he did. Number 35, The Big Chill. The Big Chill? The Big Chill from 1983. Sex, some, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. And it's like some Emilio Estevez and... What's up, Butterfly? Who who played in the Big Chill? Um, What's the other dude name? Damn. Chill. Are we chilling? You don't say who played in it. I heard of that movie, though, The Big Chill. It's like some of them people from back in the day. Oh, no, that's St. Elmo's Place. But it had um, music from Marvin Gaye, Three Dogs Night, Aretha Franklin, Mm-hmm. Pro call Harold, and it has oh, such hell no. good I know music. I ain't never seen this. Look what he got in it. The Big Chill got yeah. Glenn Close, William Hurt, Kevin Klein, Jeff Goldblum, oh, Tom yeah. Beringer. When Matt you said Tilly, Glenn Close, you Kevin had me. Costner. I was done. No, I'm done. You had me done when you said Glenn Close. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was very cocky. All right, what's the next one? The Big Ch- um, Butterfly says she liked the Big Chill. Big shout out to the Big Chill. Juno, it's number thirty-four. Juno. That had music. That was about a pregnant Juno. girl. It was about some, a pregnant girl. Some pregnant kids. I seen that one time. I, was like, I can't watch this. Yeah. They was pregnant. They only watch it one baby. time. And the chick, and the chick that was pregnant ended up um, transitioning to her own man. So she her own man now. Right. So she can get herself. So. Ah, bitch. Number thirty-three. Friday. Okay. Friday soundtrack. A collection of G Funk and gangster mm-hmm. rap classics. Keep your heads ringing. Ring, ding, yep. dong. That was my shit. Up with it. Up with it. Up with it. Mm-hmm. Up with it. Mm-hmm. 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 Up with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Up with it. 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 Up with Oh, yeah. We can do a whole Friday <laughs> show, man. All right, what's the next one? Uh, number thirty-two, Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko. Donnie man. Darko. I remember that movie, but I don't remember the music in it. Nah, me neither. It was like the music went over my head. That movie wasn't as um, good as I heard it was either. It was pretty good, th- but it wasn't. That but good. not as good as what you thought. Yeah. Number thirty-one, Juice. 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 Okay. Juice made the list. Just um, the because the soundtrack had Big Daddy Kane, EPMD, Queen Latifah, Too Short, Cypress Hill, yeah. Naughty by Nature, Eric B and Rakim. You know, like yeah, some getting yeah. jacked up. I would. I'm gonna go back and watch that. I ain't seen that in a minute either. This two Just years. Watch that shit a couple weeks ago. It's good. Okay. Say, so, you see, you call me crazy last. <laughs> If I lose, I'm gonna beat that ass. And two, if two, I lose, if I'm I lose, beat that I'm ass. Beat that ass. <laughs> you put two quarters in. <laughs> like, that shit was crazy. Number twenty nine, 
Space Jam. Ooh. Space Jam made a fucking list. Yo. I Space believe Jam. I can fly. That's an iconic song. Fly like an eagle. You can't um, sing that Seals no more. Version. Um, you can't sing. I believe I can fly no more. In nah, I, let me tell you. My <laughs> um, my grandson was watching something today. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the living room, and the dinosaur it was like dinosaur was racing or some shit, and the dinosaur got wings, and all of a sudden here come um. I believe I can fly. I said, uh-uh. What? <laughs> I said, uh-uh, no. You can't be listening to this shit. Yeah, no, what the fuck you watching? You will not be growing up you, under that tutelage. You will not be groomed <laughs> in here, cuz. Right. I'm say you got it from Pop-Up. Um, but yeah, Space Jam made of this. Um, 28, Good Will Hunting. Never seen it. Good. Heard it was yeah. good. Heard he got all these Academy Awards and stuff. Yeah, he you was know. a, um... He was like a con man in that movie. I don't know. I don't know um, about it. Robin Williams. Number 27. All right. Black Panther. They had music in that? Kendrick Lamar did the soundtrack. You didn't hear the soundtrack? Uh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it wasn't that. Uh... They had a little bit when they went to that um, one city. Yeah, they did have some. You know um, what I say? Um, Good Will Hunting is a dope-ass movie. Maybe I got to check see? myself. I just gotta check yourself. He ain't seen the shit he need to be seeing. I need to see some ratchety stupidness or some action or some comedy. I can't. I don't want to see no life stories and nothing going on. Especially um, by then, the, um, a person with a disability got to persevere through something. I know you <laughs> never seen this. Um, What's that? Marie Antoinette, number twenty six. Nah, didn't she Marie lose her Antoinette. head? Nah. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, she did lose her head. I know the story of her, but I'm not gonna watch no movie like Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. <laughs> it's probably on the list. I ain't see that either. Um, <laughs> All right, go to the next one. Forrest Gump, number twenty-five. Forrest Gump, the movie soundtrack. Great movie. great movie. It is a great movie. Everybody who's anybody I... has seen it thinks it's that music. Butterfly, you've seen all these movies, right. damn. You got a um, good ear for soundtracks. We got to start doing movie um, reviews, man. I'm yeah. Start with my more movies. All right, what's the next one? Come um, on. Number 24, Inside Lewin Davis. Never heard of it. Never heard of this movie. Never even known about it. But the Coen brothers directed it. Oh, okay. Um, They're good directors. It I stars like Oscar Isaac. Oh, this is new dude. Yes, Carrie Mulligan, Justin Timberlake, and Adam Driver in it. Justin Timberlake. And Kyle Lane. <laughs> this came out 2019 or something. Yeah. It had to come out recently. Um, I think it's recent. Got to be. Um, Number 22, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Hey, Scott Pilgrim was pretty dope. It so, was. I like, had to watch it once. Maybe twice to get the other shit you missed, but I ain't seen it more since then. They got a, um, I think they have a Netflix cartoon right now of Scott Pilgrim. But Scott Pilgrim was dope. That, I think they mm-hmm. did have some um, a lot of rock and roll and shit. So I had to it check. It did. Out. It was some um, it was some good, some good shit for that. Yeah, yeah, that type of era, type of movie music. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, number twenty one, Hustle and Flow. Oh, raw man! What up, raw man? Um, hustle and flow. Hustle it's and flow. Out here for a pimp. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. You know that Three Six Mafia did a hell of a soundtrack with this movie. Yeah, and it probably should be ranked a little higher. It's number twenty-two. It's twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah, they should have made the top um, twenty. Cause it was some, it was some good ass music. It was some it? great music. Um, whoop that trick. They won Best Original Song at the Oscars for Hard Out Here for a Pimp. So, um, number right. 20, okay. The Harder They Come. The Harder They Come? Yep. Never heard of it. It's a Jamaican film. Hey, man, Rasta Clyde, Boa Clyde, Ty. It has a lot of old reggae music that I don't really know, so I'm not going to bore your ears with some shit I don't know. One, one, raw, man. Um, What's up in the chat, man? <laughs> Butterfly, <laughs> Booyaka, Booyaka. Booyaka. Shouts out to the ghetto god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number 19, Velvet Goldmine. Nope. Velvet Goldmine, I've never seen this movie before either, but it apparently has one of the greatest soundtracks. It's number 19? Uh, it's number 19. 
Number 18, right. Sophia Coppola's Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation? You talking about with Lost. um Scarlett Johansson, Patty Smith, Carly Simon, Bill Murray, the Pretenders. Bill Murray ain't in it. Probably. Lost in Translation. I know Scarlett Johansson. Hmm. Um, number 17, Romeo and Juliet. Ah. It probably Romeo is. I remember they came out in the 90s. Money behind that and that budget. Mm-hmm. So. so, yeah. The Leonardo DiCaprio mm-hmm. and Claire Danes. Yeah. Yeah, they rock that shit. All right. Um, number 16, Garden State. Never seen it. Never watched this movie. Heard of it. Heard of it. All right. But, yeah, they apparently had a good soundtrack. Number 15, Shaft. The original Shaft? Yeah. Isaac Hayes. The shit, you got yeah, two top ten albums. You gotta put the Mac up there then. It might be up here. I ain't down that far yet, man. But definitely Shaft. I um Isaac Hayes did the soundtrack for Shaft, so shout out to him. Number fourteen, Number 14. Drive. Drive. Drive, yeah. You talking about uh, Ryan Gosling? Ryan Gosling. Never seen it. Me neither. Number thirteen. Number 13, Singles. Singles? It's about some Seattle's music scene. Had Nirvana music, um, alt rock. I never heard of that before. Never heard of life. it because we, um, we do Southern East Coast music over here. Number 12, Clueless. Clueless? Clueless. I remember that came out. I went to the movies and fell asleep in that shit when I seen that. The first movie Damn. I fell asleep in. The second movie that I fell asleep. The, the, the second movie I ever fell asleep in, because I don't fall asleep in movie theaters. But what I the fuck see, was that? Oh, that what was the third see? time. That was Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah, because we was both out. Was, we both was oh. out in that. But the second <laughs> one, that was the third one. The second one was, um, Furiosa, Fury Road, Mad Max, Fury Road. Mm. I was just sleepy because I watched that shit. I was like, yo, babe, she my nigga. We wouldn't seen it. She ain't call me nigga. Yeah. But she was like, we was in the movies. And all this. I fell asleep. So I know you were snoring. I kept trying to wake you up. I'm like, yo, this movie. Mm. Mad Max Fury, Fury Road. Mm. I hope it's soundtrack ain't in the top 10. Cause... It ain't. But um, they, you know yeah. they're doing a remake to that right now. But, um... Yeah, Fury Road. So I seen the um previews mm-hmm. and shit for it. All right. Okay. Um, number eleven. Number oh, 11. brother, where art thou? Oh, I never seen that, but I know what it is. It George hit number Clooney. one on the Billboard two hundred, and it won three Grammys. That's Ted. That's number eleven. Oh, that's number eleven. All right, now we in the top number 10, 10, ten. Not top ten. Saturday Night Fever, number ten. Seventies. John Travolta wouldn't be shit without this soundtrack. Staying Boogie alive. Night, staying alive. How deep is your love? Night Fever. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Classics. That was a good one. All right. Um, so number do the Bud Bud's voice. We finna go to number nine. What is number nine? Number nine. Days then confused. Days then confused. Days then confused. It is another seventies movie. I seen it. It was about dudes chasing dudes around trying to beat them. <laughs> trying to beat up dudes. Number eight, All almost right. famous. I never almost seen it. Famous, that. but it had to do with a um, damn um, musician, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Cameron Crowe um, trying to make up a hit. It had to do with music. Yeah, so that, number seven is the bodyguard. We getting into some good shit. Bodyguard. The Whitney bodyguard. Whitney Houston did a thing. Whitney Houston. That was basically a Whitney Houston album. No, that's a Mark Carey. Mm-hmm. But bodyguard. That's Mark Carey. But life, yeah, I will always love you. Life. I can't hit them notes. I'm too old. Voice crack. I'm a man. Um, and I would always love you. All right, go ahead. Nick. Number six, above the rim. Mmm. Mmm. Above, above the rim has the rim. hits on that. Pour out a little liquor. Pain, Lord to the Pain. gang. Yep. Lady of Rage, Afro Puffs. Yep. You no, know, like she, you know, I will put them. Um, who's the man up there then? Um, I ain't got that high yet, bro. I'm in the top five now. All right, all right. Look. Number five, Superfly. I know that boy. Curtis Mayfield did his thing on that boy. Yeah, he did. I listened to the Hundred and Eighth Street all the time and Mm -hmm. Running Wild. Mm -hmm. Little Mm -hmm. Child. 
Running wild. Running wild. He also had the Pusher Man up there. Yep. I'm your Pusher Man. I'm telling you, why listen Num- to that? Number four, greatest soundtracks of all time. Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Oh, Goodfellas. Yeah. Goodfellas. This movie. Great, great movie. Great movie. And it had a good soundtrack, too. Great soundtrack. They did. Number three, Pulp Fiction. Oh, they did have some good music on there. Because yep. that's Tarantino. Tarantino, he paid for his music, boy. You listen to, oh, yeah. you look at any Tarantino you movie, right. you look at Tarantino movies, he pay for his music, boy, because he can use right shit. All rights reserved. All rights reserved. He's using that seventies black exploitation type music. You know what I'm telling you. Really. Uh, so all right. That's... So, Pulp Fiction. Um, number two, The Lion King. The Lion King, number two. Man, hell yeah! You know, Jason Weaver just got a um platinum plaque. Yeah. For his music on The Lion King. Mm-hmm. Are you? Um, we we ain't say Guardians of the Galaxy. If they ain't number one. I don't know what it is. We had number one. I ain't one. made it yet. All right, what's number one? I ain't one? made it number one yet. All right. Number one is not Guardians of the Galaxy. They didn't even make the top 50, y'all. Uh-oh. Number one is the one and only greatest music movie of all time, Purple Rain. Ooh. Purple Rain. That was an album, so you can't you can't not say that. Purple Rain, y'all. You can't you can't not say purple yeah, rain. You can't you you can't not say purple rain. So that was without, a whole album. So making that number right, one, like that movie introduced me to Minneapolis. It introduced me to like the north cold weather like, places where people were making music. Purple rain, purple rain, and <laughs> niggas was riding around in limos and and really I I like I like Morris Day in the time. Oh yeah, they did that thing on that too. They did that thing in that movie, um, Vanity. Like they people are all that shit I together and you you not your love, not your, oh, not your friend. <laughs> I might watch that tonight. I have something I should never comprehend. Man, you know Prince was a shit. I might even look for it too. I might I might find it and watch it tonight, yeah. I might see if I can find it in the scroll. Damn, you see, that's scrolling. crazy. The Guardians of the Galaxy not in the top 50. So I'm it not... is. Not volume one, two, or three. Like, neither one of them was in there. I but that was just. Yet. It's on um, Disney Plus. I might check that out. Watch yeah. it with the fam or something. Cause I can't that was just the top 50 of that's somebody else's opinion, y'all. Don't take it to your opinion. Like, I'm pretty sure I found another list that's not the same. Yeah, because I thought Who's the Man should have been on there if damn um, Juice was on there. Right, like it's a lot of movies that should have been up there. Um, to me, um, what's the movie? Um, damn, I just ain't no, had one of West Coast Love. You ain't get nothing for them. Um, well, we did get Friday, but Boys in the Hood could have been up there. Shit, how high could have been up there? How high, oh, how high could have been up there? Butterfly saying the Notebook. Never seen a Notebook, but the Notebook. See, was Nicholas Sparks by, was too close to home. Yeah, he, he's yeah. from New Bern, North Carolina. He was too close to home, so I ain't watch his shit. I was like, fuck, yeah. I can see Everybody knew Burn watch it, though. I, I know my sister and everybody watched it. Everybody told me about mm. it. It was like, he from Newburn. We got to watch this to notebook. He good. I was like, oh, word. And then he started hitting, like, all his books and movies started coming like, oh, out. It's a man. woman's movie. You ever seen Brokeback Mountain Pre? Hell no. Me neither. <laughs> exactly why. Because of the notebook. Shit like that. I don't watch shit like that. Hell no. That ain't I in my definitely don't watch Brokeback. <laughs> right. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.